I love this place, it's beautiful. This is something amazing, it's something great, and it's something that's been thought about for a long time, but not done. But now, thank to people that are involved in it all, we appreciate that very much. So we're here today just up from uh, Glenbrook Lagoon. It's a culmination of, well, a lot of years of work um, that have come together, not just in this time that I've been with uh, Greater Sydney Local Land Services, but the relationship that I held with Blue Mountain City Council and the community to, and the traditional owners here, the direct traditional owners, to want to see how we can use cultural knowledge to start to look after country again. We're blessed to have the opportunity to work with Victor and his team from Fire Sticks to actually help guide us back in this space because sadly, you know, in this part of the world, it's probably been at least 150, 180, 200 years since people have had that deeper knowledge around using fire. The idea of a different way of managing the landscape that builds in that resilience and that health um, is really important to the future of not only our communities, but also for the future of things like the Blue Mountains. And that's the, the start of a journey here today with, um, you know, with our Darug community, um, with the other First Nations people that are involved, the agencies, and importantly, Blue Mount City Council. We're right in town here today, um, in the built up area, and that's awesome, you know, that we're here burning in town. Right on the doorsteps of all the residents that um, are very frightened of fire and fear fire. And to be able to burn around townships is really important, and the Indigenous knowledge of burning country. Um, it's crucial around built up areas because we know we have cool fires, we know there's safe fires and by doing that we're able to keep town safe and more beautiful because we haven't harmed the canopies and we're also attracting the animals for the township and for the walkers to come through here but keeping the houses safe for the fire season when it comes up for the dry time of year. When we look at caring for the land you know, what we are looking at is, is bringing back its identity, you know, so the right trees and the country is healthy. And that means healthy community. So for the broader Australia, it's, it's, it's such a beautiful thing to bring all the community together and, and, and understand Aboriginal culture here in this country. And also for Aboriginal people, it's extremely important because it's about our culture and it's about giving those young people their identity back so that they are stronger. Blue Mountains Council's had a, a long history of prioritising management of its natural areas, being one of only two cities within the World Heritage Area in the world. From Council's perspective, this is a, a natural progression into shifting our focus on management of environment for environment, but actually managing environment and including that cultural perspective that is management of country that our traditional owners and our custodians have been doing for so many years. So Council's been sort of building its partnerships with our traditional custodians, both the Darug and Gundagara. And it's a learning process for Council, and it's also a learning process for the traditional owners and broader community. As a firefighter of 20 years, what we've learnt here today, and that includes both RFS and it includes fire and rescue, has been quite different to, I guess, the teachings and the practices that we've been applying for the last decades in terms of fire management. So this is a cultural change for not just community, but also for, for key government agencies that are involved in combating wildfire. It's actually really pleasing to actually see the introduction of this approach onto council managed lands and to share that with our key combat agencies with the hope that we can sort of increase the application of that within the landscape and turn around and achieve what I think ultimately is going to be a better outcome for country, a better outcome for risk management and a better outcome for the community as a whole. We appreciate that this is being done. We, we enjoy a walk most days in the lagoon and around the lagoon. We've seen the ever-changing environment and we just know that this is not only for the bushes in, um, benefit, but for ours. Well, it's the proper way to go about it because it's the way the land's been looked after for thousands of years. That's the way to, to look after the country is the way the country needs to be looked after. My family, we're traditional custodians. We descend from the, the mobs that were looking after this when uh, first contact. It's been such a blessing to be able to do the cultural burns. You, we're actually back, we're on country, actually brings a whole lot of um, different peoples together 
for the same beautiful purpose, to look after country. One of the things I'm trying to do in my job at LLS is to not only build our partnerships and relationships with the community, but also then to facilitate and build those relationships across government bodies that might be land managers or responsible for managing land, try and get them to see things in a different way. For me as a direct person, it's really important. I think one of the things for me on this journey is that strength and that empowerment and people working together and for the benefit of country, I think is a, is a very healing thing. So when people talk today about healing country, the way that we're doing this also healing communities as well. Mm -hmm.